Hello. On December 17, 2012, Benjamin experienced the following. Shalom, Benjamin. Wake up. Yes, said Benjamin. I'm half awake. I am a messenger angel of God and greet you in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. Follow me, beloved prophet of God. I also greet you. And I see it's five o'clock. And you say to me, follow me. But I'm in my underwear. Should I follow you like this? Yes, Benjamin. See you not that you are again clothed in stark white heavenly linen out of one piece? Come. I followed the messenger angel of God down the stairs of our house, and the angel of God walked right through the front door. I tried this too, because I followed him and ran into it. And the messenger angel came back and said, Without faith and trust, every Christian runs against all kinds of problems, but faith does wonders. Yet one time, Benjamin, and now I went through it. On the street outside my house, we flew into the air. It was still dark in the air, and I saw lots of clouds and rain clouds, and several houses below me. I felt myself like sort of a magnet, which was pulled along, and realized that it will go the same with the rapture. I sensed we were only five minutes in the air, when the messenger angel said, Benjamin, there! Where? I thought. This is India. Come! said the messenger angel, and his words had power, and again, I was automatically pulled towards his direction. Having arrived there, in the midst of many people, I saw a few men who were repairing old shoes, and it seemed as if this place was about to collapse. And what a lot of stalls and signs, with all sorts of advertising texts. And those roads were terrible, nor passable. And there, a tram drove through various cables, which also had seen better days. Some just ate on the street with their own small pans, which they had put upon a few cobblestones, with a fire beneath it, with what appeared to be food, which they had found. I also saw children, who had a basket with orange flowers, it seemed like tea lights. The messenger angel, who was commissioned by the Lord God, said her name is Sarai, and is going to punish this country because of their idolatries. We flew a lot further again, and I saw a golden temple standing in the water with golden turrets. Most people had red dot on their forehead, and I saw also black spots on the forehead. Most of the children, but a few, had dots. Benjamin, he who does not want to hear, will be lost. What do I smell? I asked. Benjamin, regarding this meat, this is halal meat. One slaughtered the beast. Leviticus 17, verse 11 to 16. This one can read themselves. Verily, one speaks a prayer and dedicates it to their God, this sacrifice, and slaughters the beast, and one sells it. Thus, this goes still now worldwide. Many eat this meat, which is dedicated to their idols. Come, I could smell sete, but the messenger angel told me it was frog meat, rat meat, and dog meat, and all kinds of other animals which are eaten, and also human meat occurs on a skewer. Ooh, I thought. This country will get a lot of water, the messenger angel of God continued. The God of Isaac, Jacob, and Abraham will bring water, and then this and then that. India, see? Thus speaks the Lord. I hold not a blessing before you. He, the Almighty, will cover you. Leviticus 7, verse 26. You shall not eat any blood whether it is of bird or of animal, in any of your dwellings. Leviticus 7, verse 27. Whoever it is who eats any blood, that soul shall be cut off from his people. Benjamin, if one eats halal meat, one is guilty of the God of Isaac, Jacob, and Abraham, because this meat 
had already been dedicated to idols in previous generations. Here, they want to know nothing of Yeshua HaMashiach, because the country is under the curse. Verily, break with your idols, and also break with your devilish magic. For you there is only one way out. John 3 verse 36 One who believes in the Son, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, has eternal life, but one who disobeys the Son, like you, won't see life, but the wrath of God remains on him. He who does not accept him will notice God's hand that will smite your country each time. The choice is yours. Study the Bible and repent. Before it is done, thus speaks the Lord. The messenger angel brought me back again. I had never been there before, and I felt that we were not welcomed by all kinds of forces. But the power of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, is more than a conqueror. Benjamin, we are back. Yes, walk through your door. The messenger angel looked, if I would again run into the door, but I immediately walked through the door, back upstairs. Benjamin, I'm going now, and India will endure many disasters very soon. Do I have to take off these clothes? It seems thermal clothing. No, said the messenger angel of God. This goes without saying. I'm going back, Prophet Benjamin Kosainzin, said the angel of the Lord. Ruaka, Yeshu, Shalom.